welcome back to more uh, Zelda Randomizer Classic. Okay, so after you got rid of a few levels, got some supplies. We'll need more supplies. Uh, I think this is a bomb shop, actually. Yeah. I'm not gonna be buying super bonds for 200 rupees. Uh, one, there's a cheaper place, and two, you really don't even need super bombs in this game. Not to my knowledge. Uh, yeah, I really don't even have anything right now. I don't even know why I'm going into this place. Maybe not the best idea. I may not be a Bad idea to start using some bombs or something. I got plenty of bombs to use. Well, at least I got the blue ring down in that last part. I mean, that really helps. Uh, the interesting thing is because I have the ladder, um, I got you cross that gap to the right there. A little shortcut you can take through that. Since you can't reach me with the boomerang, I can just kind of stand here and wait. And that is not what I'm looking for. A useless item. A magic jar is next to useless because uh, I don't think I have anything that uses magic at this point. you to take some shortcuts there. You don't have to go all the way back around because that's what you would have had to do if you had no ladder. Beginning levels might take a while because you have, unless you've picked up upgrades early, which, you know, it's possible. There are times you've already pick up like a, at least a white sword, not even like magical sword outside from the get-go, and that actually really helps. Makes things a lot easier for you. And again, you probably don't want to and you can read those clues, but they're a lot of times so vague that uh, you might be better off just trying to guess what uh, where to go. Now the modern version, actually, the clues are more clear. You actually can uh, interpret them better.
using the uh, Zelda 2, um, just kind of the basic palace theme. Oh, a step ladder is kind of handy for defense. long time to bust through these enemies. Just takes so many hits. And that was just the map uh, I picked up right there. Yeah, I believe there was a key in that. I get sick and tired of fighting some of these bosses, but you just fight them over and over again. And another useless quiver. Can't do anything with that. Uh, well, three ones up there, but, um. I have no sword, and I, I might be missing a lot of stuff right now. Uh, trying to figure out where I should go next, because there's not really a good spot to go to. Take out that man handler, just leave it alone. But you just get five rupees for taking it out. Not even worth your time or effort. Time and effort to take out that thing. Yeah, the problems I cannot take out these things in one hit. I don't have a weapon to do that either. get bombs in that room. So many of them. Might as well. So you can make them a little simpler to get through. Six of them? Because they're all gonna split otherwise. We got dark nuts in this place. But luckily you have slash attack that actually makes it a lot easier to do your little side tricks. Back. Yeah, it's 
take out as many as I can with bombs. And nope, that's all our container. Could use some better items, though. Actually, bombs don't work against these poles, boys, so I'm gonna have to just hit them a bunch of times. And again, the problem is the air mechanics do not help you, because when they're jumping, you can't hit them. The thing is, they can't hit you either, but uh, unless you actually know where they're gonna land. And these clues are very vague, and that's, I think, a hint for 3-2, which I've actually already cleared. Now this actually just takes you to the other side, which I could have just crossed with the ladder. I just wanted to show you in case he didn't have a ladder. And honestly, this map looks almost exactly the same as 1-1. One -one. Just a little few extra rooms. But the, like, the same basic design was there. Got over here more arrows that I can't even use yet. I don't even think I have a. I think I have an arrow, right? Yeah, just arrows. <clears throat> no bow yet. Yeah, so you know you have a pretty bad start if you're getting the expansions. Because you're basically wasting your early level items on junk, basically. You know, stuff you can't use. I do have a power bracelet, so I might actually go to the upper left corner. Let me do that, actually. Since there are a few items you can actually pick up on the upper left corner. Not exactly the safest place to be right now. Now those uh, orange lionels make pretty decent source of money. They drop tens a lot for some reason. If you want to get a little bit clever, you actually would focus on taking out the pea hats. For some reason, they have a uh, priority over the other enemies. Okay, so this is where the magical sword used to be. And we're gonna find a useless bracelet. Oh my gosh, it's a wasted item right there. Honestly, I don't even know what that bracelet does. I mean, it almost looks identical to the original bracelet. Useless item, I mean, that has no relevance whatsoever. And okay, we got the bow. So at least I can use arrows now. At 
least I have uh, some more firepower to work with. Yeah, so you stand just kind of the right spot. They can't hit you with the sword, but you can still hit their foot. Uh, that's, uh... You're not gonna go there for a very long time, so... One of those level 9 levels. And that's where level 9 is in the second quest, so no difference there. success with that one. Um, trying to figure out the... Probably tackle another level or two. layouts are exactly the same, so it's a matter of a just kind of blowing through these enemies. And you did not want to take out that last gift though, though. I really got like 12 extra keys right now. At least I can use arrows. That actually could be kind of helpful. This thing's like a pain to take out, because right? it's just so random the way it moves. It's almost a game of chance whether you can hit it. Unless you have, like, uh, some upgrades to your bombs, and it actually does help out. Bombs back at least. All right, what are we gonna get in here? You get the oh my gosh, 
Uh, those are stomp boots, which are pretty much useless in the game. I mean, extremely limited use, and you can't even use it without a rock's feather. You have to be able to jump for it to even work. So, so far, not the best luck so far. Yeah, so you gotta learn to time those arrows because if you shoot them kind of uh, in a big rush, a lot of times they'll just jump and you're gonna miss all the time. So, it's a matter of learning how to time your arrows. to scout every rune to be complete. I'm not gonna bother those Gibdos if you just get like five rupees. Good on bombs. And actually, having a slash makes fighting Gleox a lot easier because you can actually just uh, have a much wider range to Gleox. And more arrows. Oh my gosh, so this was a wasted level essentially. Pretty much was a wasted level. I don't think I got anything in there. I think there's another bomb shop, so don't even pay any attention to that. Now, the problem is you can't enter 1 3 from this side because it actually it's replaced so you just have to find a way back to the first overworld so that you can uh, then access uh, one three oh, plenty of bombs dropping not that I need any bombs Do much about this, just get the just take the key and go. I'm not gonna be throwing all my bombs away just to take out some souls. I can run the um, don't they have a spin attack? I can actually use that because that actually would take out souls in one hit. Just learning how to get this into rhythm. Yeah, okay, spin attack with because it's gonna do double damage, so it'll do enough damage to take out a soul. Doesn't matter if you guys crowd up the doorway since I'm gonna just attack from inside the doorway. And another 
container. Detecting the magic. That's like the next best option I have right now. <laughs> At least it can take him out in one hit. Man, that's a useless clue because it's a lot of times not even relevant. You usually get a different item from that. Pretty much just, just copy and paste for the classic version. way to do things, but, you know, you gotta have to use what you have. Alright, when it KO. Always satisfying to get the one-hit KOs. That portion of it. And here we got, um, that is a whimsical ring. So this will give you a chance to get critical hits randomly, which does a lot more damage if you manage to get critical hits. So that little clinking sound you hear is the critical hit. Okay, so I'm gonna take a break at this point, and next part we will continue on. Alright, see you guys later.